Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. We're going to be doing your bonus reading for the month of September. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and what does not resonate. For more personal and more accuracy, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. I also do white ray based spells on behalf crystals, which are energized with pure intentions and high vibrational crystals of best quality grade available. Check out more on my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and check out more like monthly predictions on my Instagram. And do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your signs Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs in Sagittarius across watchers. Let's see the messages for you. <clears throat> Okay. Hmm. Oh, you have been heartbroken in love recently. And I'm also seeing uh, this person keeps breaking your heart, Sagittarius. It's time for you to walk away from them. The more you walk away from this person, they act all nicer and sweet and try to win you back. And when you're back, they create trauma, they create conflicts, they create chaos. I feel that's the energy that you're trying to get rid of or you've recently gotten rid of, actually. Sagittarius, there was a lot of love from your side, I'm sensing. Three of Pentacles, you both tried to work things out, but there were always verbal conflict. I'm sensing verbal fight, verbal conflicts. <clears throat> the thing is, you're dealing with a karmic connection that you are about to get rid of if you haven't yet. And I'm also sensing someone new coming into your life. This person is also extremely practical in life and they don't they, they don't have emotions. All they want is to work. All they want is to just be dominating. All they want is to just talk about work. Like this person is totally emotionless. And I feel like they just want work and physical lust, intimacy. But you were expecting something deep, something committed, something long term, something, you know, emotional. And because of this reason, I feel like they have been saying things that hurt that hurt you, that make you overthink. And I feel like this has caused you an extreme anxiety. But the universe is saying to stop. Focus all your energy into things that made you happy one point of time. The awards that you got, the achievements that you got, all those times that were the happiest moments of your time. Go back. Okay, this will help you shape shift. <clears throat> it's time for you because I'm now seeing that since this is a mercury retrograde growing uh, going on you will face a lot from the past you will go through some emotional turmoil it's also because the past coming back hitting you back or you're dealing with this person that you're trying to get rid of it's hard but what i'm seeing is past this you have a new beginning and this new beginning is something that is permanent this will make you happy this is something that will you know, make you feel like a kid all over again. A birth has taken place. I feel like your whole life is going to change. Whoever you've had a troubled connection with is going to improve. And if it was a love life, you've never been in a, you know, commitment with this person. If, if this, this was a situation, or this, this was a relationship, not marriage, I'm seeing them leaving. I'm seeing someone new coming into your life with a lot of love. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. I feel like you've recently met this person and they really want to ask you out. They want to date. But things are moving really, really slowly. It's also because you're open to other options. They're open to other options. So they're not sure whether they want to, you know, put all of their balls in one court. You know, they have this confusion right now because they're looking for a genuine, loyal partner. So you are attracting someone that is going to be very respectful emotional sensitive they could be from a different place they could be traveling towards you or you guys can have an online meeting first knight of wands this is someone that is uh, that loves talking to you <clears throat> you guys will have a uh, good communication going on between you guys 
they come from a similar background or religion i'm sensing this person is family oriented person i feel like they are living with their parents or something or they just like to visit their family members every now and then they're very concerned about their family they're very giving you're meeting someone on a high vibrational page i feel this is someone that is just they value all the relationships <clears throat> You guys are going to make good friends initially. You may meet this person through family members. But I feel like this is going to make you feel like, yes, this is a person I was looking for. This will make you feel happy. This will make you release all your toxicities from the past. So this is happening in September month. I'm seeing a new beginning coming into your life. Probably within Aquarius or Taurus. Yes. So there is the Seven of Swords. Right now, you want to walk away from this person that you're dealing with. They're not leaving you, but you want to leave them as soon as possible. You're finding a way out where you can just simply let go or leave this person, start a new cycle, a new chapter in your life. Because this is someone, you're attached to a parasite. I feel like this person wants to follow you everywhere you go, but give you nothing in return. I feel this is someone that is extremely vindictive, never giving you love, always dominating. <clears throat> So now you're confused. You're wondering like, how do I get rid of this person I'm dealing with? So Sagittarius, some of you have just gotten out of this. Some of you are still dealing with this person. <clears throat> I'm feeling a strong support of your father or of an older man, like a father figure. So two of pentacles. You are talking to someone older to, uh, for suggestion or you may receive a good advice from an older man or your own father okay that will help you make a decision because it's time that you go for a greener side of the grass it's time i feel like it's time now you're contemplating now you want to move forward in life now you want to get rid of this person let go of this energy totally so you may be looking for a location or a place where you can stay separate from this person or you're waiting on the time when you have an opportunity to travel away from this person and stay away from this person. You will be dating this new person behind their back or in their absence of in absence of their knowledge. You're going to date someone new. Six of Pentacles, yes. You may receive more than one offers, I'm sensing. <clears throat> All right. Yes, you're trying to get rid of someone to be with this new person in your life. I feel this new person is bringing in a lot of love towards you. Emotional, emotional exchange. I'm seeing they're coming with emotions. There's someone that's proposing to you. And you'll travel with this person. I'm seeing this is someone that is definitely very rich, successful. Has their own house or has their own place. You might meet this person at work or there's someone from the past you met. I feel this person is someone that you already know. In the past, you had a professional connection, but they're coming towards you with some deep emotions. They have their own house, they like luxuries, they have a big car, they like a big lifestyle, but they're caring and, you know, protective towards you. Yes, time to get rid of the past person. Maybe the past person was the richer one, but it's time that you're getting rid of this person. It's difficult, but you're able to. Because someone from the past is just not leaving you. I'm seeing them coming after you. You're meant to be with the soulmate. You're meant to be with someone uh, very successful. You both are meant to be very successful. I feel like your person is way more successful than you are. And this will help you grow in your career as well. So expect a proposal coming in. This could be someone from your work. You both will be very, very interested in this, uh, taking things forward in this relationship. Let me see if I have sword energy. <clears throat> yes, the past is still coming back. I feel like they're still trying to hold uh, total control of your life. They're still wanting the control of your life. They still want the remote of your life. So... Uh, I feel like the past is trying to come back with an energy of wanting to change and giving them a second shot, you know. But there's just lust. There's no love here, actually. This person just wants you for their, you know, personal needs. This time they're coming. The past person is definitely coming with, with 
emotions but this is someone that is very tricky you can't trust this person you may fall into this person's trap so be very careful you have to stick to the decision of saying no no means no because you will get stuck into third party situation with three of pentacles three of wands there will be you will be caught up in the third party situation or in a love triangle which is going to be very messed up so if you don't want this messed up situation you have to quickly cut off ties with this person some of you are not able to find the courage to say no to this person it's time for you to work on this yes because all they want is to just control you dominate you and then make you suffer they will always disappoint you this person is very on and off or this person just wants to control your life and never concerned about your emotions and this is also one of the reason this person is also one of the reason why your career is not booming there is no growth a lot of stagnancy is there so also keep your secrets to yourself i'm seeing saving is important for you for the current moment because it will lead you great uh output in future especially if you're investing i'm seeing a lot of money in return i'm seeing a lot of people having an eye over your money over your success over your growth a lot of suggestions that you should not listen to just listen to your own suggestion and your father's suggestion because there are some friends and you know people around that are very very jealous they can see you growing they can see you making millions or billion or a lot more money but it's just that they are not happy to see you growing so you will hear a lot of accusations for some of you or suggestions that you need to ignore some of you there is growth happening when you shift or when you get away from this person that you're dealing with i'm seeing marriage is happening really really soon 3 months time 3 years it depends what your age is but i'm feeling 3 years or 3 months you you are going to get into this energy of long term commitment or marriage but right now you don't see any hope right now you're just feeling hopeless don't give up because this is a time for you to grow in your life your money there's a financial success breakthrough happening into your life ace of wands it's it's time that you stop focusing on the rejections you stop focusing on love it's time that you focus on your personal growth and development and spend time alone because you're going to make it big i feel this is a very very good time for you break break off from the cycles that are making you feel uh heavy okay and uh down drained i feel you have to get over that uh, situation or you have to leave that situation immediately or ignore that situation as much as you can time for your personal growth has started spiritual awakening learning from your mistakes and doing the best and i feel like this is a time where you're going to make a financial breakthrough i am seeing some of you there's a virgo interested cancer interested as well Yes, there's some sort of a financial breakthrough coming into your life with your efforts, with your consistency, and I feel like uh, whatever your heart desires, do that. Okay, or whatever you're doing, if your heart is happy, keep doing that. You're going to make it big. Some of you are getting rid of a Scorpio, or some of you are just getting rid of the stuck energy you're dealing with. You want to transform your life, so you're leaving someone behind. Okay. lovers so you definitely have someone new coming into your life that is meeting you on the same page there might be a meeting through work and traveling okay but first coming out of your comfort zone breaking free from this uh, trapped energy you're in someone is trapping you from growing okay be careful this person could be 34 29 39 35 25 I feel like you're dealing with someone that is wearing a mask. They're not very honest. They may tell you that they're in love with you. The truth is, they want your money, or they just want you for lust-based reasons. So I'm also seeing number one is talking about true love coming into your life, but there's a new beginning in true love. Okay, focus on your money. Focus on your finances. You might meet through this person through that, or you may be able to get rid of this person. 
through work somehow you have to get rid of someone i feel like maybe the one that you're trying to get rid of is someone from a different religion or background that is why they they do they do love you but they don't understand you maybe that's the thing all right there you go communicate you may be conscious about what this person is going to feel if i say this or if i say that if you really want success you should have a open and free and healthy communication say what your heart wants to say it should not matter how other person is feeling you are not meant to please people you are meant to you know be heard but you need someone extremely dominating i'm feeling yeah all right so i'm seeing sagittarius this is clearly visible that you guys are meeting someone of the same background or religion and you might meet this person in a family event or celebration or you know in a social setup but this brings a lot of happiness and comfort in your life yeah this is someone definitely very traditional that's coming towards you loving you will see a lot of 11 11 11 and you will feel like you'll have a meeting and then you'll feel like you you need to meet again and i'm seeing that uh, someone from the past yes it's time for you to get rid of that person and be flexible in life let go of things that do not work in your favor instead of trying to correct those things right yes So the highest form of energy on earth is love. So it will never go in vain. You will definitely find someone that is in love with you. And that is happening really really soon. Let's see the signs coming in. Sagittarius, Scorpio. Aries, Scorpio. Okay, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Now, from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? All right, Aries is definitely wanting to come with a marriage proposal. Oh, sorry, Aries is obsessed with you. They're chasing you. They're watching you, but they're very aggressive. Like they're defensive. There's a difference of opinion. The Taurus person is very much in love. They're coming with a proposal here. Gemini wants equal give and take here. They want you to make efforts, show interest. The Cancer person is keeping feelings from you, but I'm definitely seeing that this person won't be able to hide that for a long period of time. Leo is coming in with major commitment. Virgo wants to make efforts in love. Libra is. Libra seems to be blocking this energy. Scorpio wants to expand in love. They are supportive. If this is a new Scorpio, Sagittarius sees you as a dream come true, as a wish come true. The Capricorn is in love with you. The Aquarius wants to take it slow, but slow and steady wins the race. This person is like seeing the pros and cons of this connection. Pisces is definitely. I feel like this person is a little stubborn and dominating. So I'm not seeing this person as a good idea for you. So me. Oh wow. You guys will have deep intimate connection. The kiss, the soulmate and I'm seeing yes, they're traveling towards you or traveling towards them. But they're from your nation, I feel. And I'm sensing this this a lot of like uh, spirit guides, your angels are by your side, they're protecting you, they're helping you find this person. and they could be very successful someone's name is georgia someone's name is george someone's name is joy johannes could be anything jessel jenny jennifer gineth noel jonas jacob anything names could be anything these could be like jason these could be actually the initials j n g o o e 
someone is a food addict or a mukbanger some of you i don't know uh, someone is running a ngo or is into social service someone's name could be john I'm seeing New Jersey, New Zealand, Australia, um, America, USA, India, England. Someone has a Jaguar. Yeah, someone is a doctor. Someone's from Um, LA, LV, England, Canada. These are some countries. Afghanistan. Yeah. Ecuador. Ghana. Netherlands, yeah, so that's about it, Sagittarius, I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful read, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment, come back for more, see you back again with more stuff, bye!